Hello there, my name is Diorama Don. Welcome everybody. And as you can see, this is my version of a V2 rocket. Uh, something that is very relevant to uh, any military diorama maker. Um, late 44, 45, thousands of these things were shot into the air. And um, not only in uh, England, over England, London especially, but also um, European cities as well. Um, had they been developed earlier, it may, may well have changed the course of the war. Uh, so, very important uh, thing to make, I suppose. Um, so, um, it's my first attempt at uh, a smoke scene, um, jet stream and smoke. So, um, you must decide decide yourself whether you think it's uh, whether it's worked or not. Anyway, let's get on with this video, and I'll show you how I went about uh, making it. Okay, let's make a start then. Uh, the internet very kindly let me know the sizes of uh, the V2 rocket. Uh, Forty point zero three six meters long, uh, which is 135 scale 15 and 3 quarter inches or 40 centimeters so I've cut um, the thickest polystyrene I've got is only half an inch thick so I've cut four pieces um, 15 and 3 quarter inches long and that so that will make a well the, <laughs> the diameter and, and it seems as though it's parallel for for the, for the middle section, it's, it's the same all the way down, and that is two inches diameter. So I've cut these to two inches wide. So four half inches is going to make another two inches. So we've got a, a square on the bottom. Um, although it although it's shaped to a point on the top, it's shaped to a uh, a fairly large circle on the bottom so what I need to do is glue these four pieces together and then from about a third of the way down there is up to, up to the point oh, it's not going to mark it's going to be that kind of shape so that that won't be too too bad to, to cut that shape but in a circular vein and from about three three inches from the bottom and it's the same thing down to one inch diameter so I've, I've got to glue these four pieces together and then glue that to the bottom uh, then I've got my mark as to where the bottom part goes <laughs> <laughs> there'll be questions later <laughs> and then uh, I've got the shape basically of the top what I need to do is go and do it uh, come back and show you the uh, finished thing so I'll, I'll do that I'll glue these together put this on the bottom and I'll try to get the shape that we need okay <laughs> wish me luck never done this before um, I'll see you in a moment Okay, so I've got the required shape, and I'd like to say, well, that was easy, <laughs> but it absolutely certainly wasn't. Um, the way I, uh, in the last segment of this video, where I stuck four pieces of half-inch polystyrene together, uh, that didn't work. So I had, I just happened to have a few pieces of one-inch, um, good quality polystyrene which I use and, th and then I had to make it in three sections it's all well I found it almost impossible to make this shape all in one go uh, so what I did was cut two pieces of one inch polystyrene six inches long which is the middle section you can just about see the the joins there and then cut uh, a two inch diameter piece of card either end stuck those on the end and then 
shaped according to the pieces of card on the end, if you know what I mean. So cut using the profile of the card to cut down all around to get almost a, a cylinder. And then uh, with some, some sandpaper, uh, and, and this is why you need good quality polystyrene or that other well, styrofoam. You might be better off with styrofoam, I don't know. But you're able then to use uh, sandpaper to get a reasonably good cylinder. Okay, so, um, and, and then with this piece, I use the same two inch diameter piece of card, but this is, well, it's still on there, one inch piece of card, one inch diameter, <clears throat> and then cut down from the two inch down to the one inch, and then sand it smooth to give that shape. And then at the top, um, again, two inch diameter there, uh, uh, to nothing. It's uh, uh, up to a point there. Uh, that, the, that was the most difficult. Uh, so anyway, I got the three shapes that I needed. Six inches there, uh, four inches there, and then five and three quarter inches there to make up the 15 and three quarter inches that it should be. Okay. Oh. Anybody think this was rocket science? Uh, well, it is. Because <laughs> that's what we're making. Okay, so now we've got this. Um, it's a, Although I've sanded it as smooth as possible, it's still got rough areas, which I shall get rid of by putting uh, wool, well, filler. Um, wool filler all over the surface. Wait for that to dry and then rub it down. And I may need to do that even two or three times to get an absolutely smooth surface. Okay, so assuming I've done that, and it will stand quite high like that when it's done. Uh, I've made four fins, uh, only two in two millimeter cardboard. That's all you need. Um, that shape, uh, case of trial and error, really. But once you've got one, then you can just uh, copy off three others. Uh, but to get that shape so that it sits like that on the shape that you've made at the bottom there. Uh, then the, that's at, at an angle, that piece. Uh, so it sits like that and is uh, just at a slight angle. Quite a sharp angle there. And then that shape at the bottom. So it will stand like that with four fins going all around. Okay. That was easy enough. <laughs> Makes a nice change. So I'll, I'll make the, the whole surface smooth with the filler and stick these on. And then we'll be ready for painting, uh, which were, it, it was a kind of uh, checkered black and white finish, uh, looking at photographs. So um, anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I'll do this, put these on, and we'll go from there. So I finished the rocket off. I put my coat of um, white wall filler over the top of the polystyrene, rub that down, and then put another coat over the top, rub that down uh, with, with um, a rough sandpaper, and then a very fine sandpaper, and it, and it gave a, a very beautiful, smooth finish. You would never know that it was polystyrene under there. Uh, and then just painted it. Um, looking on Google, it seems it seems to be that every rocket was painted in a different way. There are a lot of different uh, designs of paintwork, but I, I plumped for this this uh, design. So anyway, there's our rocket, um, and it would look better were it on a diorama base like that. So I've made this two pieces of half inch polystyrene and then clad in three millimeter, uh, yeah, three millimeter, sorry, two millimeter cardboard. So now we've got a base for it. 
But what would be um, much more exciting is if it took off. <laughs> well, I'm not going to put a rocket engine inside, but what I can do, um, I, I bought these some time ago. Um, they are the right diameter for tank turrets and the, 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 the diameter on the inside is, is, is all the right sizes for a tank turret. And they, it, although it's glass, you can paint it. So I, I think I used one on my tank turret, on my uh, Tiger tank. Um, but you can't cut because it's, um, oh, what do they call it? Something glass, special glass. Um, it, it, you can't cut it. So I'm, I'm left with this length. So, so I'm left with a load of these that I don't know what to do with. Uh, so anyway, what I thought would be good is if I stuck that in there, like that, and then the rocket on the top there, I'm going to have to go out a bit now, and try to make the jet stream come down from there and then smoke all the way around the base there to make it look as though it's just taking off. Well, the, the smoke, although I've never done it before, um, I'm, I'm sure teased out cotton wool would give the smoke effect around the bottom. Uh, but how to do the jet stream, I have not a clue. Uh, so leave it with me. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. But if, if I can cover the glass uh, area there with a the jet stream and then smoke, it will look as though the uh, rocket is taking off, which will uh, make for a better looking thing altogether. OK, so I'll paint all this black, do my smoke, try to do my jet stream, and I'll be back <laughs> to let you know how I got on. OK, so finished now. I'm <laughs> you'll have to excuse the wobbly camera. Um, I'm, I'm having to uh, pan right back so you get a full view of the whole thing. Um, I'll come in, <laughs> come in close. You can see the uh, my attempts at uh, smoke. Um, I don't know. I'm, the jury is out. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if it's uh, if it's okay or not. The uh, the jet stream coming out is okay, but um, the rest of the smoke billowing. I suppose it's, uh, well, it, it's going to have to do. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that is my version of a V2 rocket. Um, cost absolutely nothing to make. A little bit of polystyrene, a little bit of cardboard, and a little bit of, uh, and a few cotton wool buds. Um, you know, the uh, balls of cotton wool that uh, ladies use to take their makeup off. Um, so, if you wanted to make one, <laughs> and you made a mistake, it won't matter. You can chuck the whole lot away. Um, but this is my version of it anyway. So, uh, I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was a good idea to make one. Um, so, like I say, jury's out. Something a little bit different, I suppose. And it's the first time I've done a, a, a smoke seen so uh, maybe the next time it might be a bit better uh, anyway in the meantime thank you very much for watching this video um, if you've enjoyed it please click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you will be informed of other videos that i do 165 i think up to up to now so again thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video have a go yourself um, let me know how you get on, see if you make a better job of it than me, uh, which won't be too difficult. Okay, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye for now.